This is uh, what it's like at Forest Park today. We're heading in here to the zoo. This is the north entrance. Hang on. This is inside the north entrance building. Ooh, giant squid. Cafe Kudu. There's Scott. And we're going out there. This is the zoo. There goes Scott. He's off to see the bears. Over there was a little ice cream booth. That's where I used to work and sell Ben and Jerry's ice cream as a third party seller. There's paths. There's a choo-choo train that goes all the way around the zoo. That big uh, pavilion in the middle, they have cafeteria in there, meeting rooms. Over that way you've got an insectarium. That dome there has butterflies inside. And over that way also is the primate house and the bird house. And way up the hill over there is the elephant walk, which I don't like it now because it it takes a long time to walk through there and I'm, I get tired. I just made two snow people and a snow animal. There's a railway. It goes through here and off and around the zoo. Here's the insectarium. Yeah, this is the bug I hate the very most. Cockroaches. You can run a foot a second. Leaf cutter ants. Look, these guys are actually. They actually got a little highway going here. Going up here. Carrying leaves. They're going all the way down here. Look at them. Busy, busy, busy. Look at that. One's going the other way or going back for more leaves. Look at that. All oh, these little fellas here. Look at that. And they're like a reddish brown. Wow. Look at that ant. The leaves are bigger than they are. You see the insect? You're moving this leg. That's a walking stick. Look at that. That's an insect. Look at him. Weird, huh? He looks just like a stick. Awesome. Oh, he's got a little guy on top of him. He's green and then he's more brownish. Look at that. Wow, they're real. And there's another one. Oh, here's another one. Look at this one. He says, I'm smiling for the camera. Wow, that's really weird. Oh, hello. You waving? Hi! He's waving. Hi, YouTube friends! Look at that! He's waving. You ham. You're a ham. Oh, and there's another one. Little guy coming down. Oh, this thing is just loaded full of them. In here they've got, they buy pupas and, and eggs. Look, there's butterflies that just hatched and they're like resting and becoming becoming butterflies from their pupas. They're not used to being butterflies yet. They're just kind of like hanging out, literally. I don't know if you can see them. They're flying around. Butterflies are flying around in here. Look at that. Isn't that neat? It's nice and humid in this dome and warm. Look at that pretty one. Ooh, look at that. This guy just had his portrait taken, didn't you, buddy? He sat still and smiled. Hello. Oh, what do they have over here? Something good to eat. Probably fruit mash or apples. Oh, look. Oh. Look at that. Pineapple, huh? You like pineapple? There's a banana, an orange, honeydew, and a orange slice. Oh, aren't they pretty? Look how pretty they are. Door, you would not live five minutes. So cold out there. Hello. Like he understands what I'm saying. Ooh, look at that. Oh, pretty. He's looking at the map of butterflies. Am I this one? 
This is, I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if it's a Calancho. I have one of these bushes in my backyard. Wasn't that cool? The zoo and the art museum in St. Louis are free. Parking's not, but unless you park on the perimeter, which we did. I love the zoo. It's over 80 acres. Uh, and uh, it's one of the top zoos of the country. Dr. Bonner is in charge. I met him. He's a nice guy. I used to work up in here. <clears throat> they really love their animals here. They don't mistreat them at all. And they actually have many programs to propagate species that are not doing too well on the earth. And there's a lot of different programs and things that the St. Louis Zoo does. I love the zoo. It's where I would go when I feel troubled. I would come here or I'd go to the art museum and hang out because it just makes my soul feel happy. Let's go see some more zoo. That's the south entrance. There's a gift shop there. That's the south entrance and you can hear the traffic on Highway 40 going by out there. The primate house and the bird house is up there on the hill. And it's so frozen that most of these geese can stand around on the frozen semi-melted water. There's some sea lions in there. See if you can see their head poke up because they breathe oxygen so they have to come up. Where are they? Come on up. I came to see some family members. It's the primate house. He's got a piece of kale. Gonna have some lunch. Yeah, way up there. Here, this guy, what's he gonna do? Oh, it's a woman. That's a female. What's she gonna do? I guess he got his first. And she gets hers. Yeah. He didn't leave a very good piece, did he, huh? <laughs> She's holding it with her tail. Weird. Her prehensile tail. Oh, he's got a nice piece of kale, too. Look at that. Oh, that's a girl, too. Oh, yeah. And he's sitting there eating. Yum, yum, yum. These guys are really, look at his furry, fluffy tail. These are colobus. Look at his big nose. They look so humanistic, don't they? Look at that. Hanging out. Oh, look, there's a baby up there. A little baby up there. Isn't that cute? He must be a juvenile. He's not full grown. Look, there's a baby. They must be siblings. Wow, awesome. This one's called an Allen Swamp Monkey. <laughs> That's something you call an old haggy woman, isn't it? A swamp monkey? <laughs> Here are the zebra. More for people outside of the United States, a zebra. Looks like he's in, in anticipation of something, maybe food. There's the snow leopard. He was sitting on the hill, now he's going in into his little cubby hole. Now those guys are called Bactrian camels. The kind with the one hump is called a dromedary, and the way you can remember it in your head for English speakers, 
is a capital letter D on its side, D, dromedary. And a capital letter B has two lumps in it when it's lying on its back. B, Bactrian, B. That's how you remember it. A great hornbill. He was a Batalua eagle. Hi, eagle. Ooh, thank you. Ooh. The toucan. That's one and a toucan. One and toucan. These guys are king vultures. Kind of like my mom's neighbors. These guys are called the tawny frogmouth. Hello, little guy. This is a laughing kookaburra. I think they're native to Australia. But in the old movies and jungles, and now that African jungle movies, they usually have him going, <laughs> making his laugh. But they were wrong. The wrong continent. Right, buddy? How you doing today? He sure has a pretty call for being a little birdie. Oh, it's a magpie robin. Okay. Over there is a conservation conservation carousel where all the money used goes for conservation efforts, and their bears are over there, and the penguins are over there. And that's where we came in, and that's where I'm going. Scott's going to be in the gift shop. And then we'll leave. This is a baby onesie that we're getting for the baby, that Scott got for the baby. And on the back you have a little tail. Isn't that cute? 